Good morning, everyone. It's uh, Mike Rogers, with, uh, Mike Rogers Bass Fishing, Mike Rogers Bass Fishing TV, and uh, got a couple things I want to to show y'all here. Um, I, I'm uh, obviously I'm with uh, Scurry Louie Lures, uh, part of their pro staff, and uh, I used their stuff for a couple years before I uh, ended up getting to be a part of their team, and uh, probably one of the best teams I've ever been a part of, uh, uh, without a doubt. Um, Quality lures that are handmade in America obviously is, is a, a huge plus, but just good down to earth people. Customer service is nothing but tire, uh, working tirelessly to uh, make sure the customer is taken care of. So you can't really go wrong uh, repping for a company that uh, takes care of their, their people and creates such a great product. And I, I've got a couple things that, uh, that they sent to me, and I wanted to uh, show them to y'all before I break them out and really start using them, except for this right here. Already using that. Uh, this here available in two sizes. This is the larger size uh, on www.screwlulures.com, and it's just uh, just a simple mug. I like that it's got it on got the logo on both sides. So no matter what hand you like to drink with, you can see and wrap the logo. Uh, and of course, some good black coffee in there. Now, most people that know me know that. I'm going to adjust this just a little bit. Uh, know that I'd, I'd fish a lot of soft plastics, uh, and Screw Louie Lures is known for jigs and spinner baits, buzz baits, and the like. Uh, but we do have a great line of soft plastic trailers, uh, and so I'm going to I'm going to go over those a little bit. Uh, I've got my two favorite colors here right now. Uh, but what I want to talk to you right now about is this right here. This is a box set. This is a mystery box set from the website currently on sale uh, on the website uh, and so the mystery box set it you don't know what you're getting until you get it all right and uh, and it comes with uh, each space filled with uh, jigs and trailers uh, just like this this uh, black shad color and we've got the uh, black with flakes uh, crawl trailer that's a swim jig. The sexy Shad is one of my favorites. Sexy Shad you can't go wrong with, with all the chartreuse and everything in there. And it's got the Sexy Shad paddle tail uh, as the trailer on there. And uh, they come, they come. Uh, some of them come rigged. Some of them uh, will will come just with the trailer, so you can rig it yourself. Uh, but this is a this is a great profile right here. I don't know uh, how much you, you know y'all might use uh, swim swim jigs but sometimes they are just the, the thing the right ticket and this this uh, sexy shad swim jig is by far one of my favorite jig colors and of course your traditional black and blue football head again with the coral trailer and then there's some brown and and orange in there as well uh, so it, it creates what, uh, more somewhat of a, uh, the opportunity to give some natural color, and of course that black and blue that just you know bass just love. You know, if you do jigs at all, you know black and blue is is uh, one of the go-to colors for most bass anglers out there. Uh, we've got a a green a green pumpkin with uh, with red red and gold flakes, and a uh, green pumpkin with red flakes. Uh, crawl trailer that's a flipping jig so like I said you don't know what you're gonna get until you get it here's the baby bass I love the baby bass colors as well actually my my favorite baby bass uh, or my favorite spinner bait from screw lures is a baby bass with uh, double willow spinner blades uh, one gold and one silver and uh, you've got the, the crawl trailer there and of course your, your uh, good baby bass colors uh, one of my one of my favorites as well. Uh, so, you know, you've got a great selection, handpicked by the, the, the crew there at the shop. Uh, these, like I said, these are all handmade. They're wire tied. Uh, the the uh, heads are painted and, and cured right there in the shop, and uh, guaranteed. I've had people that had some that chipped after uh, just a little bit of use, and uh, and we just replaced them you know they you know send them back and uh, send them a picture and, and get you know the same day we got the picture we got some more out um, and sent back to them to replace them uh, because they're guaranteed they're, they're, they're not going to fail they're going to be the longest lasting highest quality lures uh, in the jig industry that I've seen 
and of course, right like I said, right here in America, you can't can't go wrong with American made. Uh, so that's just a few of my favorites out of this mystery box. Like I said, there's a lot of uh, a lot of good options. You can build your own um, t uh, box set, or you can buy some box sets that are pre-made, um, and uh, and you just can't go wrong with with the box sets. And of course, the mystery box set. It's very similar or very uh, interesting to see what's going to be sent to you, see what you're going to get. And they're on sale right now. Uh, I think they're $10 off. Plus, we can get you a, a discount code. That'll be in the link below uh, you'll, uh, to receive another 5% off uh, of your order, which usually can cover uh, at least a good bit of your uh, shipping shipping costs. And of course, if you, uh, if you spend... Uh, just a little bit more, you may may even be able to get that, that free shipping. All right, now, what I really like to talk about, uh, most people that, that have known me for years know that I I do a lot of soft plastic fishing. It's just my, my go-to, it's my strong suit. I love to fish with the soft plastic. And that being the case, uh, I don't get to uh, exhibit the, the value of these jigs as often. Like I said, there's obviously some situations where the jigs are the thing you need. The spinner baits are the thing you need. The buzz baits are the thing you need for that early morning bite or what have you. Um, but I use soft plastics more often than not. And for a long time I used nothing but zoom flukes and trick worms and all of that. Um, but then when I started looking at these, these trailers and especially these paddle tails really caught my attention. This here is the Sexy Shad Paddle Tails. Like I said, my favorite uh, colors is what I was gonna show you. So the Sexy Shad Paddle Tails, I'm gonna pull one of them out of here now. Uh, they are a, a dynamite lure. And they're not all gonna be exactly the same because like I said, these, these are, are handmade, but they're all gonna be in the right patterns, right? And they're all gonna be that, that thing that's gonna catch that fish's eye, right? And so you got your Sexy Shad, you got your Chartreuse, your your pearl, your blue, and your flakes, and all that in there. And the I wish that you could feel this through the video, but it's just a, a really good, soft, like a good natural feel. And that paddle tail, it's got a, there's a lot of wobble here, right? So that paddle tail will displace just enough water, and you can burn this on the top if you want to with a high speed reel and get this doing some top water action. But what I like to do is do a lot of jerk. And, and give it some action and then let it just fall. And usually on that fall is when you'll get the bite. And some, depending on the, the, how aggressive the fish are, it, you may feel it right away. They may grab it and run or what have you. But a lot of times uh, in, during the slow times, they'll just kind of pull it in and you just kind of feel that, pick up, feel a little bit of weight, set the hook and, uh, and you're good to go. Um, so here's the sexy shad. And then I've got watermelon ghost. Another one of my favorites. One of my reasons I like this is because it's a lot like baby bass colored, but it has some red flakes in it as well. And I'm going to uh, pull one of them out here, and we'll we'll look at that. The action really never changes for me. And of course, we'll tie these on, or we'll we'll hook these on as a uh, as a trailer with our swim bait or with our uh, swim jigs, uh, and uh, sometimes with a, a flipping jig. Uh, but usually, my flipping jigs I like to put my crawls on. Uh, and of course, uh, spinner baits. Great trailer for spinner baits as well. And you can break, you can you can pinch them off. They're actually really easy to do if you wanted to shorten up your profile a little bit. Go you know like a smaller uh, three eighths or quarter ounce uh, type weight. You can and you can use them with anything. It doesn't have to be on a screw loaded jig. I just don't know why you'd have anything else in your box. Um, but anyway, so this is the watermelon ghost. These are my two favorite paddle tail colors from Screwy Louie Lures. And I, I'll rig these Texas rig weightless probably 80% of the time. And then sometimes I, I may put a, uh, a worm weight, uh, like tungsten worm weight on there. Uh, or in the, in the winter, when it's really cold and the fish are really sluggish and, and um, trying to find them in a little deeper spots and, and fish just kind of differently, but I still, this most versatile baits in the world in my opinion are, are the, the soft plastic swim baits. So, uh, or soft plastic jerk baits kind of up for discussion between some people. But the, the fluke style or what have you, paddle tail. 
from Screw Louie is, is now my go-to. Now, I do still use Fluke sometimes because they, they do have a slightly different action, and sometimes uh, that's what I'm looking for. Um, so I'm not going to just say, hey, all I use is Screw Louie. Um, uh, I'm not sponsored by Zoom. I actually tried tried uh, to uh, to rep for them a few years back and, and uh, haven't I haven't worked that out, but uh, but I still use their stuff because it, they do still have a profile that sometimes I'm looking for, and I'm not going to say that I use one company for everything. Uh, it's just not the case, and anyone that says that is probably lying or they're not catching enough fish, one or the other. But uh, most of the time now, this is I'm going to have this rigged weightless Texas rig on a three aught or four aught. Occasionally, if I'm trying to drop it way down, especially when I'm targeting smallmouth, and I know there's going to be a lot of small bites, and I'm just trying to catch a number of fish, I'll drop down to a two-aught, uh, just because it, it helps get that hook in their mouth, and um, you kind of, I don't know, it just changes things for them. But that smaller gap and, and everything just tends to hook up a little bit better, a little bit faster. Um, otherwise, sometimes in smallmouth, they'll fight for it for a second and get it turned around and everything, and then, pull, you know, you end up pulling the hook or the bait out of their mouth before they get it in there. So, uh, weightless, weedless, uh, Texas rig, uh, or throwing a, a small eighth ounce uh, worm weight, or doing a weighted, I, I, I got sidetracked, the weighted um, offset hook. Uh, I like to use Gamakatsu or Mustad, those are kind of my, my go-to. Uh, I used Gamakatsu red hooks for a long time. Uh, a lot of the places that they used to carry them don't carry the red hooks for Gamakatsu anymore, so uh, I, I get the must add and it works out great. Sometimes even the, the laser, the laser sharp um, by Eagle Claw. As long as they're red, I do know that it makes a difference in some cases, whether it's red or your, your typical gray, black, uh, bronze color, what have you. Um, and I think that just, that, that red flash, that, that adds to the bait a little bit. And so I do recommend using red pretty much all the time unless you don't have it and then uh, you can always add a little bit here and there. So one more thing from Screw Louie that they sent me that I, I really like um, and I, uh, you never know when you, when you get stuff like this, you never know the quality that it's going to be. So I got this tripod, don't need that. I also got this from them. Uh, it's just a, just a zipper hoodie and uh, it's not real heavy but it's, it's a good quality. It's got a sort of a fleece feel to the inside. There's nothing on the front. It's just a sort of a uh, charcoal gray color. Um, and then on the back, of course, we're uh, sporting the, the big Screw Louie Lures uh, logo. We drive fish crazy, screwlouielures.com. And you just can't go wrong. You know, if you want to rep the company that's getting you a lot of fish, uh, jump on the website, grab that. It's a great deal. Uh, it's perfect for this time of year. It's cool out. Throw that on if you're on the kayak, you're out bank fishing. I'm actually about to go out and do some pan fishing. Uh, try to catch some fish for eating. I haven't done that in years, and uh, so I'm about to do that for the first time in several years. Um, here shortly, I'm going to be going down, and there'll be a video coming out with that for that as well. Uh, but the zipper hoodie, it's it's just that perfect weight, you know, it, it's for this time of the year. Uh, right now, it's in the 40s. We're looking at it getting up to the 60s. I could put this on right now and be more comfortable than what I am right now because what I'm wearing right now is not insulated. It's not. It, it's not a. It's, it's just a Sims uh, Solar Flex, actually, a uh, little hoodie. It's, it's a nice hoodie, I like it. But now I'm actually a lot more comfortable than I was. And then later on, when it gets into the 60s, and I'm still wearing this, if I'm catching fish especially, uh, which I will be, uh, I'm not gonna notice so much that I'm still wearing this because it's not that heavy, but it just kind of takes that, it gets that little in between, and uh, I really like that. So, if you're, uh, if you're on the fence about checking out screwlulers.com and you don't know for sure if they have something for you on there, I encourage you to go to www.screwylulers.com and, uh, and just start shopping, scrolling through, looking at their accessories, their, um, their apparel, uh, and uh, look at their soft plastics, uh, look at their their uh, spinner baits. We we were building a, a good back stock of spinner baits. So I'm not I, as of today. I'm not sure if the spinner baits are, are available on the website. But I know they're they're if they're not, they're about to be. So you can actually go ahead and uh, and 
make a list of what you want if they're not quite available and then jump back on there and buy them. Uh, and like I said, it, below there's going to be a discount code for 5% off of your, your total purchase. And uh, I highly recommend that you go check them out. Uh, look at their soft plastics. I, any bass angler out there, I, I think that anyone I've ever talked to use soft plastics at least to, to a good 50% of the time kind of extent, whether it's as a trailer or just by itself. Um, I know a lot of people like to use the, the stick worm type, um, so like, like your, your Cinco, Sticko type uh, soft plastics. But the fluke style or this, this, this bait fish profile, uh, this, is, this is more of a bait fish profile than even the fluke is. And it's, it's, it's small, but you can make it big by giving it some action. And, uh, and of course you can, you can always throw it onto like I say, a, a swim jig uh, or one of our jig dancers, something like that, and, and make it a bigger profile. And you don't have to go big on the jig, right? You just use a small jig, throw the trailer on there and create a bigger profile. And of course your spinner baits, they give you a good bait fish profile as well. That's all available on the website. All great prices, all handmade right here in the US. And you just can't go wrong. So give, give, them, a, uh, give them a shout out there. Uh, if, you, if you do go and, and buy, buy some uh, screw lures, uh, the discount code that I'm gonna give you is gonna say that I sent you, but always feel free to put a, a comment in there, let them know where you've seen the code at, did I give it to you personally or did you get it right here on this video? I'm assuming that if you go after this video, you're going to use the code right down here and give it to them uh, that way, which means you found me on the vid found the code on the video. Uh, that helps me, that helps you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to click like on this video if you liked it, if, you, if it helped you at all, uh, understand anything about the screw lures. Uh, and you can use the profile, the, the, the tips I gave you on, on rigging these for soft plastic use only. Uh, you can use those for flukes. You can use that same setup also for trick worms or stick worms or whatever whatever soft plastic you like to just swim around with. Uh, I actually use our flipping crawls. I don't have any to showcase right now um, that, are, that are handy. I don't, I don't want like to showcase the old stuff so I'm going to show you the new stuff when it, as it comes in. But the flipping crawls that we have on the website also like to rig the exact same way. And I've had lots of good success. The, the uh, Bloody Crawl, the black and red profile, smallmouth, and just eating it up, uh, fishing in the rocks and stuff in the creeks and the rivers and all of that. Um, so it, it, it definitely is a great uh, line of soft plastics you can use either as a trailer or by themselves, just flipping around and uh, throwing it up in the vegetation or in the rocks and pulling good bass out. So like, the, like and subscribe, tell your friends, and we'll see you on the next one.